हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल एम जे मंजरी डू यू थिंक मैथमेटिक्स इज ओनली अबाउट फार्मूलाज एंड नंबर्स थिंक अगेन सी बी एस ई हैज जस्ट अनाउंस द आर्य भट्ट गणित चैलेंज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ए नेशनल लेवल कंपटीशन दैट विल टेस्ट यू लॉजिकल थिंकिंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इफ यू आर इन क्लासेस एट नाइन्थ और टेंथ then this is your chance to prove your skill and shine like aryabhat himself now let's see in detail so this is the official circular released by cbsc on 17 september 2025 with subject aryabhat ganit challenge 2025 the main aim of this challenge is to implement mathematic practically in real life student must possess certain skill and competency so this is to promote and evaluate this skill in exciting way so this competition is in two stages stage 1 is called as school level competition where this competition will be conducted by a school the question paper for this will be made by cbsc only so cbsc will provide a question paper to school and school will conduct an internal assessment they need to download the paper and conduct the exam will be the responsibility of the school on their own campus then second stage based on second stage is national level competition this is stage will be held by cbsc in online computer based test now let's see eligibility criteria for stage 1 which is your school level eligibility criteria is simple all the student of classes 8 to 10 studying in cbsc affiliated school are eligible to participate but stage 2 eligibility is different which is your national level here only top 3 student from each cbsc affiliated school register for the first stage just imagine you are having 100 student who participated in stage 1 now out of 100 student when you conduct the test you need to select only top 3 and this top 3 student will go to stage 2 which is your national level competition now let's see the area of assessment so content for this test will be geometry and spatial sense quantitative aptitude algebra data analysis and probability number sense and number system mensuration now what are the competency they are going to assess so that is strategic approach creative and abstract thinking logical reasoning and analytical thinking visualization and mathematization conceptual understanding and problem solving skill so these are the topics or content on which they are going to ask the question and these are the competency which they are going to assess now let's see the duration of test type of question and total marks so for both the label time duration is 1 hour and multiple type choice question only will be given to you and they are going total test will be of 40 marks and there is no negative marking so for both time duration is 1 hour mcq questions 40 marks and no negative marking next let's see what is the process of conduct of test and selection especially the first stage which is conducted by school so school need to register by from the given link i will add the link in the description as well as in the comment section so the first step they need to register the registration will start on 18 september and it will end on 30 september so you have 12 days time to registration and remember 530 pm and there is no fees charged to appear for this test for this test no fees will be collected by school then second first step was the station second step question paper and answer key will be sent to registered school between 7 october and 10 october so the station was conducted between 18 to 30 september then after the station cbsc will send question paper as well as answer key for first stage between 7 october to 10 october then test shall be administered internally by school using question paper provided to them so school will conduct the 
test during that time and they need to select top 3 student so they will conduct for all the students studying in 8, 9th and 10th and they need to select the top 3 student now there may be cases where same highest score is obtained by more than 3 student if that case is happening then in that case school can administer internal screening test at their discretion to determine the top 3 so if more than 3 students are getting highest score then school can conduct one more test up totally upon them and they can select the top 3 then the name of top 3 student chooses by school along with the station fees of 900 remember maximum fees is 900 rupees between 15 to 22nd September this is registration for your national level which is your stage 2 payment link will be available only for school that has registered for Azebat Ganit challenge within the deadline so you can register only if you have done registration between 18 to 30 September now let's see the stage 2 so stage 2 will be is a computer based test for top 3 student from every school and this will be conducted on 29 October 2025. Only school that has completed the first stage is eligible for second stage. Then second point, detailed instruction for administrating the second stage test will be communicated with the school that has registered student for the challenge. So detailed instruction they are going to mail to all the registered school only. On successful completing the second stage, top 100 students from every CBSE region will be given merit certificate. So as you know CBSE is divided into different regions. So top 100 from each region are going to get merit certificate. Now let's see the fees. So for school label there is no fees for participation but for stage 2, 900 rupees per school is charged and fees should be paid online only using debit card or credit card or NFT and this fees is non-refundable and there is special recognition for school promoting the challenge top 10 school of each region with maximum number of students participating in stage 1 will be awarded an appreciation certificate by school so it not only the student who is going to get the certificate even school also will get this certificate appreciation certificate for that so it is encouraged that all school inspire student to participate in azebat ganit challenge it is a worthwhile experience to enable the student explore and enhance their mathematical ability student participation and success in challenge can also be documented in student personal portfolio as indication of excellence so those students who are in the top three that can be added in their student portfolio file as well so students if you are in class 8th 9th or 10th don't miss this golden chance to test your math skill and shine at the national level share this video with your classmate and teacher subscribe to our channel for more cbse update and remember mathematics is not just about number it's about thinking smart Thank you.